In today's video, I'm going to share a secret which is going to enable you to design websites really fast and really awesome, saving you a lot of time and also making your websites look professional. Coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and in today's video, I'm going to share with you my secret on how you can design professional looking websites really fast and also make them look very consistent. But before I get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All you have to do once you've bought Divi using my link, of course, is to go to funnels2income.com. On the bottom right, you're going to see a chat bubble, just go on there, leave me your receipt number or attach the receipt itself. And then once I've verified that, I will give you access to the course. All right. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you the secret. All right. So over here, I'm just on my uh, website. I've come over here to pages. Now, the reason why I want to talk about this secret or my new way of designing uh, websites is Elegant Themes has just released the latest Divi feature called Divi Presets. Okay. Divi Presets. Now, this allows us to create some sort of like a guide. I don't want to call it the style guide, but I'm just going to call it the Divi design guide. Okay. So that's my own term. It's not official from elegant themes, but this is Mac Divi design guide. So what this does is once you design all the elements that you uh, need on your website, you can then start applying them to your website as you're designing your website. So I'm going to show you how to create this Divi design guide. So let's go ahead and do that. So over here, you want to create a brand new page. Now I've already gone ahead and created a basic one here. In fact, let me just go in here and show you uh, what it looks like. So I'm just going to click here on edit. Now this is just a basic page. I just give it a title called style and uh, I might as well call this Divi design guide. You know, let's go ahead and do that. So Divi design guide. There we go. So that's better. Make sure the permalink is fine as well. Oh, there you go. It's updated. So now I'm going to go in and edit this with the builder. Okay. So I'm going to click here. So the idea here is as we're designing this guide, we are going to be adding elements to this page, which will be applied across the whole website. So the best way is to think about the basic elements that you use over and over again. For example, the paragraph. So I'm going to come in here and delete all this and start from scratch. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Okay. So what you have to ask yourself is, what's the very first thing I need on my website that I use all the time? So this could be a heading, okay? So what I'll do is I would come over here and I would add a text module and start with the heading. So over here is where you see all your presets. I'm gonna click here on this drop down, and you can see I already have this paragraph and uh, text preset one. So if you have any presets that you need to delete, you can just go ahead and delete it like that. And you can see now it has gone back to normal. So what you wanna do is to start creating your elements on your site. So this is heading one. So we're gonna highlight here, go to paragraph and set this to heading one. And then I'm just going to come over here and just say, add new preset. So I'm going to come over here and this is called headings. Okay. So I'm going to save that. And notice now it's, a, it's taking us to the design page. And this is where I can go into my heading text. I can start applying my font here, the size. I can make it bold, make it bigger. And I can also change the color if I need to. But you know what? I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just showing you how this would work. So I'm going to save that, save it one more time. And if I come over here to the top, I can see here my headings uh, preset has been created. So I'm going to save that. Now, the next one is obviously heading two, heading three, heading four, and so on. But the next one, which I think is very important here, is going to be a paragraph. So I'm just going to come over here and click on this plus button and add another text module like that. And over here, I'm just going to go in and create a new preset. So this preset now is going to be a paragraph. So I'm going to say paragraph. There we go. Save that. And now I can go in and customize this text. So I'm going to come over here from default, set my font, set my size. So let's bring this up a little bit to about maybe 17, add a bit of line height. There we go. So that's my paragraph text. Save that. Save this one more time. So you can carry on doing this with all your uh, basic modules that you use. Let's do one more. And this time it's going to be a button. So I'm going to come over here, click on this plus button and let's choose our button here. 
Now you can see here it already has a preset and this was just an example to show you that every time you're going to be adding your buttons and if, if it has a preset, this is what it's going to look like. So as you can see here, we're getting uh, all the elements that we need. You can also go in and do blurbs. You can do uh, call to actions, email opt-ins and so on, uh, contact pages. So I would highly recommend that you go and create this page. And once you're done, in fact, we can see here that this is my dock button. I also have a standard button, a dock button, and so on. And if there's any presets that you don't need, you can always come in here, click here, and delete all the presets that you don't need, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to save this and save this page. Now, the question is, why am I creating a specific page, which I'm calling a Divi Design Guide? The reason why I'm doing this is because I have one central place that I can go to to make my changes to, rather than do them on the fly on different, different pages. So I'll have a specific page where I'll go and change. So let's say I want to change the colors of my button. So instead of looking for places where my buttons are on my website, which has hundreds of pages, all I have to do is to come to the Divi Design Guide and make my specific change there. If I need to make it global, I can just make it global there. Now that I have this page all set, I'm going to save it. And then we are going to now create a brand new page and see how I would build it fast. All right, so I'm going to come back over here and let's click on page. So let's say this page is a about page. Use Divi Builder. So I'm going to build this from scratch. And let's say I want to start over here by adding an image. So I'm just going to go with any image that's on my website here. So I'm going to go to my media library, choose my image, upload image. So that's my image right there. Save that. Now over here, notice what happens because we made some styles for our header and we also made styles for our paragraph text and our button. So I'm going to go in now and add a text module. Select that. Right, so you can see our text module here is pretty standard, right? So with our presets now, I can just go in here and say, oops, okay, oh, you know what? I want a paragraph style. Boom, my paragraph is gone in. Save that. Now, let's say I need to add my heading. I can just go in here, click on this plus button and say text module. There we go. And then I can say, just highlight all this. My name is Mac. There we go. Right, so I'm gonna highlight this, click on this drop down, set this to heading one, and then I'm gonna come over here to my presets, set this to heading. Now, do you see how quick that was? I don't have to go into the settings, change the colors, add line height, because I've done all this work ahead of time already. So now all I have to do is to drag this to the top, and now if I add, let's say, a button, I can just come over here, choose button, and you can see here, this is the default one, but I can go in and change it as well. So I can go to button one and boom, just like that, I can choose my colors. Now, here's the thing. You may be thinking, well, what if I need to create a dark one or a light one and so on? You can have different buttons here. And this is why I've created a dark version and a light and the lighter version, which is what we see right now. Now, the beauty of doing everything this way is you can go in and set your global styles or your normal uh, Divi styles onto any element here. So let's say every time you design your website, you want to make sure that your sections have a bit more padding here to the top. So to do that, you want to come over here, click on uh, design, I mean your preset, and then you can just choose section padding. Just like that, you're now adding your padding. Now, let's say you want this padding to be consistent across all your website. So all you have to do is to come over here. So here we have section padding. I can just click on this star. And this now is a global item. So this uh, style that I've just added, I can go in. And every time I add a new section, now check this out. I'm going to click on regular. And uh, I'm going to start adding all my elements in here. But before I do that, I want you to see that now we have uh, this setting applied to all my future sections and sections that are already on my website. So this is really, really cool. So I'm going to save this. And uh, let's say I want to work on a page based on a pre-made layout. All I have to do is, in fact, you know what? I'm going to use the same page. I have less confusion. Let me just create a new page and add pre-made layout. All right, so back over here, I'm just going to click on page and this is going to give us a new page. So let's call this pre-made. Use Divi Builder. And then I'm going to, oh, no, you know what? I was supposed to build this 
from the pre-made layout. Anyways, it's easy. I can always come over here and click on this plus button and I can use the pre-made layouts from here. So the one I'm going to go with is, uh, let's have a look. So let's try this one here. So let's say I'm going to be using this as my layout to begin with. So this is going to load all my elements. And if there's any elements on this page that has my global presets, it's going to be applied pretty much on the website. But if not, I can just go in and just change this with a click of a button. And it's going to be very, very easy to do this. So uh, now that it's uh, loaded, what we're going to do now is to just go to my text here. So you can see we have this paragraph text, I can go in now. So all I have to do is to come over here to my presets and then choose my preset. And this time is going to be paragraph. And as you can see, I can just go through all this and just change everything. So moving forward, what you can do on this page is you can go in and change all your styles. Like for example, here, this is a heading. So you can go in and change the style of this and also any text that you have on your website. Now, the really exciting thing here is, let's say I were to go in and make some styles global, like for my images and different parts of my website, they can be applied across these pre-made layouts as well, which is very, very powerful. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to use a uh, design guide throughout your whole website because you can apply certain settings to be applied across the whole website, or you can have different elements that you can just apply as you're designing your website. So this is how you create it. And uh, of course, if you want to export it, you can export it and use it on a different website. So you can just export it using the portability and then import it using, import it using the portability as well. So it's very easy to use and we can share these around. And uh, this is what I recommend you do create your um, Divi design guide. And this is what's going to determine what your website looks like as you're designing your website. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.